Sri Lanka will want to take it to the decider tomorrow evening. Here's the first ball, Bhuvneshwar to Nisanka. Oh, play and a miss, first ball straight away, bit of movement. Does finally get one of the middle of the bat and the boundary comes up, much needed for Sri Lanka. No, there is no single trouble at the non-striker's end, there would have been. Oh, that's been crashed. The top edge. And it's a slow outfield. Can the fielder cut it off? No. Jadeja for a second and he's been slog swept for a six. In the very first delivery of the over. Again, again. This time fetched from outside the off stump. Top edge is it. Should be taken. And it is. It's a good catch in the end by Venkatesh Ayer. This is the wicket that India needed. Good running there. The new batter, another southpaw replacing one. <laughs> that looks straight. That is uh, straight enough for the fingers to go up. The ball's not been turning in Chahil, one of his strengths. Pitching in line, impact in line, wickets hitting. Go to the on-field umpire, you're on the screen, stay with your decision, you can signal out now. Thank that you. was a poor call from the batter, Sri Lanka going upstairs. Amil Mishara, the new batter with a slip in position. Very good over from Yuzi Chahal, 71 for 2 after 10. Around the wicket, Harshal Patel, it's in the air and has it carried. Seems like it has. Shreya Sayer had to dive in front. Now, has it gone fine enough to beat the fielder? Brilliant! Now, 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 it will go on, I think. Or does it? Yes, it does. In the air, in the air, has he taken it? Rohit Sharma, the slow ball does the trick. Bumbra comes back, takes the wicket. Now, that's in the gap. 50 will come up with a boundary. Fifth time he's gone past the half century. There's some Sri Lankan supporters in here as well who've got something to, uh, to cheer. That's gone high. And it's gone the distance. It's gone close to the crowd, into the moat. What a shot, what a strike. Take that. It's a colossal hit. That's gone too. Appeal, an appeal, and Ananta Padmanabhan has given it. He got it right, and if he gets it right and the batsman hasn't touched it, he has to walk back. Oh, Massive. that is huge. 17 of the over, last ball. Is there another wind-up? He finishes off in grand style. The 20th over, six to finish that over. 23 coming of it. It's been a sensational innings from Dasun Shanaka and Sri Lanka at the end of 20 overs was a 183 for five and it's going to be a pretty competitive one. Yeah, it's a good target. It's a good target for India to chase. 184 is what they need to take this series. When Rohit Sharma and Ishan Kishan walk out to bat. See from that first ball what a good pitch this is. The grass has held it up really nicely. Four. Oh, he's played on. He's played on Rohit Sharma. Early success for Sri Lanka. The last half an hour wow, when they wanted to continue for much, much longer. Oh, the edge. That's not going to the boundary, is it? No. What about the timing on that? Oh dear. I think he's got it flush on the helmet. And this was extra pace. He's gone straight on the helmet. This is seriously quick from Lahiru Kumara. He's come straight to take a look at 
Ishan Kishan. And I think he's played that shot because it got him a lot of runs up in Lucknow. But it's a very different day today. Very valid. I think they talk a lot about delayed concussion. So you just have to keep your eye on Ishan Kishan for a while. He's going to bat on. Now what does the bowler do? It just passed slip. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a T20 game, lest you've forgotten. Because there is some serious pace that is asking questions of two young batsmen. Full toss and beats mid off this time. Three boundaries of three deliveries, 14 of that over. It's 44 for one. In the air and should be taken. A comfortable catch. Did it with pace the last time around. And this time, Kishan won't be happy with the kind of dismissal. Well, he went straight and he connected. He is a magnificent player again, spin straight down the ground. Now goes again, same result, just a slight difference in angle. Sanju Samson, no, almost got there, did the fielder. Now, how good is this shot? It gets him to his 50, but he does this sometimes, he'll just stay away, sway away, and he's flat batted it to the side screen. More of a tennis shot, isn't it, down the line? It would require a huge court. <laughs> Last time he got his 15, 25 deep, this time in 30. And that will, I think, go for six as well. But it bounced just in, but it doesn't matter. He's played the field beautifully here. That's a good hit. That's when Sanju Samson is at his best. What a hit. Doesn't matter. Was pitched up, had the room, and he bounces on it. Sanju Samson. He gets it out of the middle again. This is a really good over for India and Sanju Samson. Outside edge. And what a catch. That is a terrific catch from Fernando. He holds on to it. And a very good innings comes to an end. And what a shot. That has to be one of the better shots of this game. Straight down. Beautifully timed again. That's up in the air. That's way up high. Is it long enough? Eventually it is, with a little help from Masalanka. Now back of length, back of length. Much better, much better, but still will find the boundary, Jadeja. What a finish. Wonderful, orthodox, correct drive to finish the game, and that's very much been the essence of this extraordinary innings from Jadeja, where it's at 45 of 18, with Sri Lanka's 183 for 5 was built on the back of Nisanka's 75 of 53, and Dasun Shanaka's explosive 47 not out of 19. But India just, just walked it. I didn't think I'd say that at that time. Winning by seven wickets, elite the series. <laughs> Stop acting down Don't break my soul